welcome back to the Ultimate Diecast YouTube channel, where today we're checking out these BBR models. These were recommended to me by a good friend, Hot Wheels Racing. Make sure to check him out. So jumping straight in, we've got the Maserati MC20, presented in this sleek looking box with the BBR logo nicely on the top on a black on black. With a clean looking box, this model will set you back £15, just a little bit more than your standard Mini GT model. So you've got the name on the back, the scale and it being made in China. So you've got the Maserati licensing and overall the packaging is very very good for the price. The packaging can be almost compared to the Kaido House Mini GTs as the packaging is very very similar. But as we get into this model you will see some of the nicer details that this will carry. Detail wise this model is very very good with the Maserati logo being very clear and a separate piece on the front as well and the Maserati writing in the clear Maserati font on the back. It's got the exact wheels that the Maserati MC20 comes on and they also spin completely freely with no problem at all. Also a very nice feature is how strong the carbon accents are as they very much stand out on both of the models. This model will definitely stand out in your collection as there isn't very many brands that make the Maserati MC20 or Maseratis in general. With that being said, if there are any more brands or models that you would like me to check out, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. Make sure to like the video if you want to see a comparison between BBR models and Mini GT. I can also only apologise for the absolutely horrendous camera work in this video. I am working on it, I do promise. Next up we've got the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA. Now there are two versions of this, there is the GTA which I've got and the GTA M which has the more aggressive kit and the more aggressive styling but still this model is very highly detailed and comparing it to the pop race model which you can check the review on the tiktok this model for around the same price blows that model out of the water completely and you'll start to see why Before the car is fully unboxed, you can see how vibrant the paint already is, with it being a struggle to unbox that is. With it finally out, we can take a closer look, and the first thing that stood out to me was the headlights, and how aggressive they are. The wheels do spin freely, but as you'll notice on the Maserati as well, there are no brake calipers or brake discs that can be seen, which is a bit unfortunate, but not very many models do have them. You can definitely make out more of the carbon accents on this model with how bright and vibrant the paint job is. With all the accents carbon or black, it definitely makes it stand out. You can clearly see each panel represented on the model as well and they are presented proportionately at that and as you can see it also fits perfectly in any diorama situation there are a few brands that do the alfa romeo julia gta and gta m but for me this and the pop race ones definitely stand out the most With all this being said, are these two models that you would consider adding into your collection? For the price, I would definitely say they are worth it. If you do like this shorter style content, with it's just the reviews of a couple of models, please do let me know in the comments down below. That's going to be the end of the video guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.